Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back into the card closet. This is Eric with you again, and I'm excited about this episode. It's going to be another cards for sale episode, similar to the last one, except this time I'm going to show you the high-end Kobe's and Michael Jordan's that I have for sale, and you all get first chance at them before I put them on eBay. So the price that I quote to you today will not be higher than what I do on eBay. So you're not benefiting by waiting. Get your name in, leave, leave a comment. If you want a card, say sold, and then the card name. If you want to talk about it offline or get closer up pictures or something, send me an email. I'd be glad to take the time to work with you. My email address is in the about page uh, over here on, on my YouTube channel. I take Venmo and I take PayPal. PayPal has to be friends and family though. And I'll also take a personal check if you don't want to do an electronic payment, in which case I would wait for the check to arrive and then two or three extra days beyond that uh, for it to clear the bank. So that's that's the payment rules. Be very flexible with you. And let's dive right into this. We're going to start off Kobe Bryant, 1999-2000, Bowman's Best Refractor. All the prices, I'm, I'm not going to go card by card and tell you what's out there like I did last time. I'm just going to give you a price and know that the price I quote will be lower than any buy it now prices for the same card on eBay. I, I just can't ask for something, ask for a price knowing you could go to eBay uh, right now and get it for cheaper. So it will be lower than any buy it now price on eBay, guaranteed. And it will also take into account past sales. Now a lot of these cards do not have comps in the last 90 days in the completed listings. So some of this is going to be guesswork and feel free to do your own research and call me on it and send me a message if you want to try to negotiate. So here we go. Like I said, this is the 1999-2000 Bowman's Best Refractor of Kobe Bryant. Kobe cards are hot right now. As you can see, it is numbered 382 out of 400. This is a hot card right now. It's been selling for very high prices. So I'm asking $700 for this. Next up, we have a 2000-2001 Upper Deck, UD Exclusives, the Gold version. This is serial number to 100. A lot of these are older Kobe wearing number 8 on them. There you can see the serial number 17 over 100. UD Exclusives. It's the gold, so it's number 8G on the back. And I would like to get $200 for that. Up next, we have the 2000-2001 Upper Deck UD Exclusives Gold Y3K. There are different poses of this card. This one I believe is called the leadership pose. Serial number to 100. Got the gold tint on the back being the gold version and the gold upper deck hologram down there. 
So that card. I'm also asking for $200 for that. And then next we have the 2001, 2002 Upper Deck UDX. Oop. 96 over 100. There's the UDX stamp. Give you a look at this card here. And for this one, I am asking 150. Next, we have the 2002-2003 Fleer Premium Power, the Ruby version of it. <clears throat> You can see the foil is ruby red. It is serial number 38 over 100. And it is in a ruby red foil as well. This is one of those that didn't have a lot of comps. I'm asking 150 for that. Most of these don't have a lot of comps actually. Next up, we have the 2002-2003 Fleer Triple Threats Ruby. So again, it's got the ruby red foil, triple threats, serial number to 100 again. And on that one, looking for 150. Next, 2002-2003, Hoops Stars, the Platinum version. It looks very similar to the base card, but this Platinum color is just a little more Platinum and a little less Silver. Serial numbered 11 out of 100. And for that one, I would like to see 150. Next, we have the 2002-2003 SP Authentic Limited. So 38 out of 100. Here's the back. Absolutely zero comps on this one. So I am asking 175. Next, we have the 2002-2003 SP Authentic Limited SP Specials. Sixty-eight out of one hundred. There you go. I am asking an even 100 for that. And then the last Kobe here is a 2002-2003 Upper Deck 
UD Exclusives Gold. Probably a, a card you've seen the base of quite regularly. Numbered 74 out of 100. It's got the gold tint on the back, the gold hollow down there. Asking $200. Now let's go to Michael Jordan. First for Michael Jordan, I have a 1997-1998 Tops Bound for Glory. This was a special insert in the factory set, which I have. The box from when I bought that includes five randomly assorted insert cards. That's what that's what this was. It was one of the five that I I got in there oh so many years ago. Lots of shine. Almost traded this away a year ago without realizing what it was, what the value of it was. For basically nothing, and I had to cancel out of the trade, and the guy let me out. So I'm asking 150 for this one. And then finally, we're going all the way back to 1987, 1988 FLIR stickers. I got this when I purchased the complete set. Uh, please note the upper left hand corner here. And there's a little touch on the other corners as well, especially lower right there. This card is super hot right now, or this sticker is super hot right now. When I looked at comps for this one, it is literally going up by the day. If you sort it by highest to lowest price, it's almost a perfect correlation with the date. So as of, based on what I saw last night, and based on that little, those touches in that upper left corner, I am asking $400 for this. And that's what I've got tonight. So help me out here. I'm trying to work up money to get a, either a Jordan rookie or a Ted Williams rookie. If you see something you like, let me know. Spare them the listing on eBay. Leave a comment if you want to buy one immediately or email me. And we can talk about anything else you want to talk about with these cards. Again, I'll take Venmo, PayPal, friends and family, and personal check. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you see something here you like. Take care. Have a great week. Bye. Hey, it's me again. I forgot to mention shipping. I will ship these as expensively or as cheaply as you are comfortable with. I'm assuming for this caliber of card, you're not going to quibble over a few dollars over between plain white envelope and bubble mailer. My default on these would be a bubble mailer for about $5 to ship it. But if you want to go cheaper than that, or if you want to go more expensive than that with higher insurance or something, let me know. I'll work with you. Take care. Bye.